So we're back with part two of the build. We'll be finishing up the walls with paint and whatnot. So right here, I'm just going and putting some duct tape on there just to keep the hard edges away. And right here, I'm just throwing some uh, paint on. We did a two-tone in the living room just to add a little extra visual in there. Just spraying on the paint lightly because just to help us out with some of the aging and whatnot and distressing of the walls. We don't have to put too much in with it being kind of thin in spots. Right here I'm just taking a the mask stencil and spraying it onto the walls. We did silver here and we did gold in the on the white part in the hallway and the other side of the living room. So now we're making our fireplace. We just we only had one piece of foam board. It was an inch thick. And we were hanging that little cauldron in there. So I'm just gonna cut it out. Just measuring the size of the cauldron. Once you get your foam cut, you get it split apart. And then go ahead and draw out your stone pattern and also your brick pattern. And just mark it out about the size of bricks. Once you get all your bricks marked out, then you just take your utility knife and put it at an angle and just go down a quarter inch or so. Come back on the other side, do the angle the other way, just run the knife back again. And it creates a nice little groove. Look at all those beautiful bricks right there. So once you carve out all your bricks and your rocks, you go ahead and you just set it up there and make sure if you have to make any adjustments, you can make them. And then you just go ahead and on the bricks I ran just a cream color paint that we had left over into the cracks. I thought it would give us a good mortar color. And then on the front of the fireplace, just do black and any cracks that you see, you can also make cracks and that'll help you make it look a little more realistic. Whenever we put the gray on, we didn't let the paint, the black paint dry. We just thought it would give it a little more, you know, look a little more older. Whenever we ran the gray paint on it. But 
but then once you do that and then you can go to your bricks and we just got a sample size of red paint from Lowe's and painted our bricks. Then we go ahead and I add a, a little bit of black into the mix just to kind of soot up the, the bricks that are going to be getting smoke damage and whatnot. Here's the finished fireplace. We'll just put it together with some screws. Would you look at that? Very beautiful. We just need to finish it off with some wood. So right here I'm doing uh, putting some baseboard trim onto the the walls in the living room. I did it in the hallway and in the bedroom and in the kitchen area. Then I decided to put on some chair rail and I just used my old flooring saw with some pallet wood and just ripped it into some pieces that I thought would look good for chair rail. Got to chair rail and uh, baseboard on there getting ready to throw some dirt on it we made this here panel to get in behind there to distress the walls we put some paint inside of a spray bottle with some water and just sprayed it down but we didn't really like the the drip look so then we just started wiping so we decided to go with the white look instead of all the drips just dirty up the walls a little bit 